I know that you are a long-term trader in your funds, so the one-day moves matter less to you, but certainly when you look at how uh, the different asset classes have been responding to the shift down in oil prices, do you get the sense that oil is driving everything else, that everything else is kind of on hold with respect to oil? Maybe not driving it, but it's part of the story. I think uh, you know you've got a lot of supply globally. Demand has not picked up sufficiently globally to offset that excess supply. And you had last week with the uh, Federal Reserve rising the Fed funds rate. Everybody expected that, but the inflation numbers were less than everybody expected. And you have this sort of deflationary feeling uh, with that. And oil would definitely be part of any deflationary story. You saw that in the price of gold going down too, which was a deflation trade without hope of the Fed coming in and rescuing it so um, yeah it's definitely part of the story and I think if you're an equity investor um, you know with with values uh, higher in other parts of the market uh, this is an area you want to be looking for long-term value so our, our long-term focus would come into play there and so let's talk to someone who has an equity focus Mark Pue of Bank of America um, how before we get to whether energy stocks have value right now why isn't it having more of an impact on the earnings outlook this drop in oil prices is this because people still see it as temporary yeah well if you think back to um, a few years ago when oil prices were above 100 bucks it was it contributed about 15 percent to uh, S&P earnings today that number is closer to five percent um, but one thing to to keep in mind are potential knock-on effects what's Correct. it do for growth what's it do uh, for credit spreads and so that could seep in and I think you know we ran some analysis if oil prices were to stay in the forty dollar range into next year that could take away about eight dollars to our EPS for next year so about six percent downside to our earnings for next year um, you know effectively that could take away quite a bit of, of what you could potentially get from from tax reform as well right so so it is something to keep a close eye on